But it's Claire from handmade.hudsons.co.uk and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And this is the second part of my haul stroke unboxing video. Um, I started it yesterday but I had to go to work, how rude. Um, so this is the next part. So um, the rest of my box, well, I might need another one. So this is the first thing that I've got. So this is the iridescent boxwood wreath embellishment. And these are from the um, Frosted Floral Suite. I've seen these in the annual catalogue, but they're really, uh, I think they're in garden green. Um, and you can keep them as they are, or you can unravel them. And they're absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so excited about using these on my cards. And I will give you some of those examples probably later in this week, next week. Uh, and then we have got some champagne mist shimmer paint. Now, I do have a confession to make, and that is I got them in all the colours. So I'm not sure whether they're all... So here we go. And I'm not really sure how to use them yet, but... Um... <laughs> I'll have to learn and then show everyone else. So we've got frost white, white shimmer paint, champagne mist shimmer paint, a Vegas gold shimmer paint. Mmm, that looks quite pretty. Um, and then we've got a bright copper shimmer paint. So yes, I will be playing with these and showing you what I have created. And perhaps a tutorial. Let me know if you want a tutorial. Make a comment in there below or on my blog. Or send me an email, whichever. So, uh, boring stuff. Catalogues. So, if you've asked for a catalogue, I will be sending one out shortly. Or if you want one, just contact me and I'll be happy to send you one. Um, so, stamp set. Oh, oh, look at this. This is amazing. This is, this is something I was like, oh, I want this. So, this is another stamp set that goes with the punch. So the bundle stamp set is um, one I showed you yesterday. So that's this one, Making Christmas Bright. And this is the extra one. And oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to be able to use this one. This is probably going to be one of the first things that I make examples with. I love it. So we've got um, a flower, a bunny, spider for Halloween. We've got Christmas ornaments. We've got pine cones. We've got really cute little things. So we've got Easter eggs, snowflakes, flowers, hearts, feather, which is absolutely gorgeous. Penguin. I have a friend who I am going to have to make a penguin for. Um, and then we've got more uh, different hangings. We've got a different um, light fixture. Don't know, it's not fixed for anything, but it's pretty. And then we've got dots or stars along the side. We've got another bright, we've got snowflakes. We've got these hearts, isn't that gorgeous? We've got a different top to go, sorry, I'm pointing at something you can't see, to go with the top of the punch. Um, And we've got the item that makes it into an actual light bulb. How exciting. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's definitely one of the stamp sets I want to use first. So um, I'll put these away. So my next stamp is a country home stamp. Now I wasn't really sure whether I wanted this or not, but then I've seen some amazing examples on Pinterest. So yeah, this fell into my basket. So um, that's, what, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So I absolutely adore this. There aren't any dyes to go with it, but it is still a lovely, 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 lovely stamp set. Um, I'm saying there aren't any dyes to go with it. Better check that one. So I'm just checking in my catalogue, which you can't see yet, but it will be online on the 5th of September, or you might have received it in the post. If you've asked me for one, or <clears throat> let me know if you want one. Again, I've already said that. I seem to be repeating myself. So, um, country home, absolutely gorgeous. It is an autumnal stamp set. I think you can use it all day, all year round. Um, and I love the little sentiments on here. So we've got happy harvest blessings. So grateful for someone like you in my life. Hello, enjoy, love, thanks. You are the happy to my day. Simply thankful for all the good things. And hello, enjoy, love and thanks will fit in to this little 
um, oval. Sorry, I forgot the word then. And it is a photopolymer and it is gorgeous. And I will be showing you that for the rest of the suite in a later video. So what else is in my box? I'm not sure what these are. Oh, galvanized clips. Really random. This also comes from the Country Rain. Country White? <laughs> Country Lane Suite. I think I've been drinking gin. I haven't really. This is a crazy day. So these look gorgeous on bags. Um... And I think they'll look gorgeous on cards as an added extra. Really good on mail cards. Helpful to connect things. So if you're having a wedding, um, I think these would be amazing to connect name cards to different things or to make it look more rustic. And then I'm so excited about these. I've got frosted and clear epoxy droplets. These are from the frosted florals there. Um, there was something similar um, in the last catalogue but smaller and I have a collection of those because they are one of my favourite embellishments. So I can't wait to get these out and play with these. These are absolutely stunning um, and you get 96 in a pack which will keep me happy and might get me through one example video, you never know. So let's put these to the side. Um, what's this? Stamp sets. So, um, as I said, I am trying to buy background stamps at the moment. So this is the Buffalo Check. Um, this is gorgeous. So this is red rubber. Um, and as I said, I don't normally stick the stickers on, but I will show you some of the examples that I've made using this in a future video. Um, and I've read some advice about using this so I will go away and play and give you some advice on about what's the best way to use this stamp set. Um, so next thing I've got trimmer blades. Um, I use my trimmer a lot so I need some new blades they're really dull we've all seen those before. Yay! So we've got the first frost from the frosted floral suite. This is amazing this is one of the things that I was like oh I really need that and um there are a few things that I love. I love this um, flourish or flower here. I love these roses. Um, and I've got I've got congratulations, wishing you all the best. Here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort and good cheer. So you could use it as a Christmas card or you could use it as something else because it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the Christmas season. It could be any season. And then we've got another gorgeous flower here. And then we've got a gorgeous leaf that I've seen people make into a bouquet. So, not a bouquet, a wreath. But it is a bit more slightly difficult because it's not manipulable, unlike photopolymer. So, yep, red rubber. And I will be showing you um, this stamp set and what I've been doing with it over the next few weeks. Definitely one of the ones I want to use quite soon as well. So, um in my box. So I found my rogue um, basic black um, light blend. I couldn't find it when I showed you the rest of the blend yesterday so I'll put that in my blend bag which I'm not really sure where it is at the moment. Oh it's in my cupboard. So um, I store my blends in a makeup bag so I will show you that. So this is something that I'm really excited about. Um, this is should be the take your pick tool so um, a few weeks ago I bought a jewel picker and then something up released this so I had to have this instead so this is a take your pick tool so this side is the um, side where it's where it picks up it's putty and then we've got a spatula to remove your cards if you make mistakes, which I do all the time. And then if you unlock it, which, oh, there you go. We've got a very, very sharp pointer tool. And I'm not really sure. Can you put that in? Oh, you can. How exciting. Um, So you've got a spatula and then you've got a pointer tool, which is very, very sharp. Don't stab yourself with it because you will hurt yourself. So I'm going to turn that around because I think I'm going to use my pointer tool more. 
And then we have got a stylus. So this is the perfect replacement for if you have lost your stylus on your Simply Score tool and um, you can use this as a multi-tool rather than having separate tools for everything. So these are absolutely gorgeous and I will be putting this away, oh wrong way around, and playing with this over the next few days and you'll probably see it in my next few videos for me to pick up all the things that seem to be going flying across the room rather than actually um, on my card. Right, so what else is in my box? Woohoo! How can I see? It's like what's in my bag, isn't it? You don't want to see what's in my bag, it's crazy. So we have got some Poppy Parade textured weave ribbon. Um, I saw this and loved it. I think this goes with the Santa Sign Suite as well. Um, hopefully I've not caught my ribbon. Um, I'll have to confess, I'm new to Poppy Parade. I wasn't a Stampin' Up! demonstrator when it was released. But I do love the colour. It is gorgeous. Um, and it's... I Don't get me wrong, I do like um, Real Red for Christmas. But I do think that Poppy Parade will be an extra oomph to your crafting. So, yep, that's the Poppy Parade ribbon. I'm just going to put that to one side. So, I seem to have bought quite a lot of embellishments out of this catalogue. And these are the Santa's Workshop Enamel Shapes. So, these will go gorgeously, perfectly with the um, Memories of More card set um, that I showed you. But also with the um, Santa's Signs and the Santa's Workshop Suite. So I'm so excited to use these. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we've got Garden Green, Whisper White, and Poppy Parade um, embellishments. And I love these little dots. I'm so in love with them. I think they're gorgeous. And then um, I have got the Tuft Dynamic Textured Embossing Folder from the Annual Catalogue. Now, I've seen so many examples using this and I was really in adore it. So that's what I got. So it's the one that looks like pillows. So you can make it like a Chanel-esque bag. Um, and then I've got the Frosted Bouquet Framelit Dies. Um, so these go with the First Frost. So I will get these out and show you um, what they look like, what they cut um, in the video when I show you the First Frost stamp set and suite. Um, I have got the um, Corrugated Dynamic Textured Imp Impressions <laughs> Embossing Folder. Again, a big mouthful. Who comes up with these names? Um, so this um, makes your card look like corrugated cardboard. I think that is amazing. Can't wait to try that on crumb cake. Gorgeous. And then this should be the Santa signpost framelit dies. So um, again, I will take you through um, what this cuts and um, how to use it when I go through the Santa's workshop suite. But um, they it cuts signpost Santa. Um, Mrs. Christmas, Mrs. Santa, Father Christmas, uh, presents, and the cart. So exciting. Um, and so the last part of my box is mainly paper. So I have bought some papers that I don't have. So I've got Highland Heather, and I use a lot of Call Me Clover, Crush Curry, um, I ran out of. And then my last colour is Lovely Lipstick. I have to say that's one of my favourite in colours. So those are the ones that I've ordered. Um, I'm ordering Whisper White actually with this paper because I've ordered some previously, she says. Um, but they are a bit different. So, oh, let's go, go. 12 by 12. This is the Frosty Floral Specialist Designer Series paper. And it's got a shimmer to it. 
Um, I will go through this in a separate video, but I'm so excited and really want to see it. Um, this is the... Um, no, it's not country lane. <laughs> I've connected them together. This is the All Is Bright Design Series paper. Um, this goes in the bundle, which you can find at the start of the catalogue, which is the All Is Bright. It's got two stamp sets, a die set and a punch that goes with this. Um, I have to confess that I didn't get the second die set. Uh, I didn't get the stamp and die set. I may do with my next order, um, but I'm not really sure. Um... I suppose it's that thing about everybody has to decide with a limited budget what they would use and what then what they wouldn't use. And so for me, I tend to buy things that I really love and then start to fall in love with them when I see them on YouTube or Pinterest. So at the moment it's not calling out to me, but it may do in the future. So yeah, these are the um All is bright designer series paper, and I will talk you through that when I do the um, suite. Um, this is the um, Country Lane designer series paper, and again, I will talk you through this when I go through the suite. Um, it's quite autumnal, it's very lovely, and I can actually, although I say it's autumnal, I could probably use it all year round because um, it's gorgeous. Um, so we have got galvanised metallic paper, isn't that amazing? So I will have to compare that to the silver, but that's perfect for um, using the embossing powder on. So I have got some Whisper White 12 by 12 paper um, because I wanted to make some boxes and I wanted to make an amazing box which was shown in a video a while ago by Amanda Charlesworth, the Scrimpy Mummy. But I didn't have the right size paper. So, yep, that is why I've got white. And then from there, I've also got the Neutrals collection. I have got the Regals. I've got the Bright... Oh, Subtles, sorry. And then I've got the Brights. So, um, wanted to make boxes, easier to make bags. So I went for 12 by 12 and then right here i've got the santa's workshop um 12 by 12 paper and this is amazing so this one i don't know whether you can see through the paper it's actually got textured so <clears throat> looks like it's been through the embossing machine um and it is absolutely gorgeous so again i will show you um these papers when i go through what I have of the Santa's workshop suite. So actually, I made it through in another video. So thank you very much for watching the video today. Um, if you enjoy these type of videos, please let me know by pressing the thumbs up um, or sending me a message. You can contact me at Claire at handmade at hudsons.co.uk. Uh, you can message me down, down below or you can, <laughs> that sounds really bad, in the link below. Um, or you can, um, go to my website and write a comment on this post. So thank you very much for pressing play on the video. Um, I hope that you press play on another one of my videos soon and I hope that you've enjoyed my rambling while I talk through the gorgeous, gorgeous items that come from the new Autumn Winter Stamping Up catalogue. So thanks very much for watching my video.